we have with us our keynote speaker, uh, Lee Sean Huang, who will tell us more about his contribution. Hello, welcome. Welcome, Lee Sean. Thanks for having me, Lev Terrace. I'm really looking forward to this event. Fantastic. So uh, tell us a bit about uh, what you'll be talking to us about. Sure. So I'm still working on the talk, to be uh, perfectly honest, but the starting point really was thinking about my experiences last year. I was a member of the bargaining committee and organizing for a new contract, a new collective bargaining agreement uh, at the Parsons School of Design, which is part of the new school. So all of the part-time faculty at the new school were negotiating a new contract. Uh, we hadn't had a raise since 2018, so well wow. before uh, the pandemic. And uh, it was sort of frozen uh, during the pandemic as part of a, a memorandum of understanding based on some of those factors. But what we saw, you know, coming out of the pandemic was that actually student enrollment had gone up. Um, they wanted to increase the tuition on the students, but we weren't seeing anything else. And in, in, in real terms, due to inflation, we were actually making less money, right? So um, that was the context. I signed up to volunteer to uh, work with a group of 19 other colleagues to propose new contract language to meet with the university who ended up hiring a corporate lawyer uh, to negotiate with us. And that resulted in a over a month strike, which uh, to the best of our knowledge was the longest part-time faculty strike in the US. And so, I'm going to share a little bit about that story. Uh, we see this wave of unionization across the U.S. after you know 50 years of decline. Uh, we've seen strikes in in the U.K. and other places among uh, university workers as well. So trying to connect the dots on some of these larger factors and connect it back, I think, centrally to our interest of design education because. Ultimately, you know, maybe you'll go on strike one day as a designer or design educator, but more importantly, I think our students will as well. That how do we think about them um, preparing them to be workers in this workplace and in these uh, sort of economic factors that we're all facing uh, going forward? This is really exciting and we can't wait for your contribution. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll see you in the event. All right. See you there. Thank you. Thank you.